Look what came in today. We got the Rui Hachimura Washington Wizards City Edition jersey. And this jersey is actually the first collaboration with the NBA and the MLB for a City Edition jersey. When picking the jersey, of course I chose the Gonzaga standout Rui Hachimura because he is a Japanese born basketball player. It is so rare to see a Japanese basketball player in the league. And I've been to Japan a couple times. I love that country, really dope place to visit. So if you guys ever want to check it out, I definitely do recommend going there. Japan's known for its cherry blossoms, so I didn't know DC had a big influence in cherry blossoms as well. So it just went hand in hand. You have a Japanese player, cherry blossom jersey, to Japan, cherry blossoms, it just ties in. All right, so starting off with the collar, you can see the front side has that blue and white colorway. They have a rib material. You got pink that goes all the way through. And then the arm openings, same thing as that front side, blue and white. Then you got your standard Jerry West, heat pressed on a swing man, nice and clean. Then you got Rui Hachimura. So on the pink base, the white really pops out. All heat pressed, the typical standard swing man. Then you got the numbering number eight. So you got a white base with blue trim on the outside. Then we got the side panel. This is where the money's at. But right over here, it's a cherry blossom themed jersey. So you could see you have cherry blossoms that run all the way down the little petals. It's a beautiful picture on there. So this is actually sublimated into the fabric. So this is not a heat press, not a screen print, but it's actually dyed onto the fabric. So those designs are on the jersey. And then on the opposite side, you got the same thing as well. Just beautiful design. A little bit different kind of variation, but man, this is beautiful. And that is the back of the jersey. Then we got the front side of the jersey. So you can see right here, you got the blue and white colorway. It goes down to a V-neck collar. And then the arm opening, same style. Blue and white. Your typical information down here and then you have the nike swoosh also heat pressed then we go to the lettering and numbering so we got washington across the chest right here heat pressed white with the blue trim and then top of the eye instead of the dot you got a cherry blossom which is a dope touch a little nice feature on there so it's a little different the numbering here pretty much the same style when we go down to the jock tag, you got Swing Man, you got 48, you got City Edition, and the Nike Swoosh. Then you have three cherry blossoms that are screen printed right on top of the jock tag. So this one's supposed to emulate and just copy the Washington DC three star flag. So they changed it up, but made it cherry blossoms, which is a dope touch. Then you can see on the side panels on the front side, you can see the cherry blossoms that run down both sides of the jersey. And that, right there is the front of the jersey and this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey so i don't normally wear pink but this kind of looks good i like it over the hoodie man it's just i guess i gotta get some kicks to kind of go with it if i were to wear it out i think it's a dope piece in the collection just because i mean cherry blossoms you never see a pink jersey if they came out with this during the October months of the breast cancer awareness. This would have been so fly, but they wore it in November. So a little too late I really like the Washington script across the chest and I like the little detail that they added They added that little cherry blossom right above the eye. I thought that was On point and then you got the cherry blossoms running across the sides You got it on both side panels. And then you got the Jordan brand athlete Rui Hachimura <sighs> And that's the jersey what I really like about the design in tandem with the shorts is that they got the cherry blossoms that run down the side. On the sides of the shorts, they're actually colored blue. There's like a little gradient change. It's supposed to represent the cherry blossoms falling into a basin of water, which was a dope point, but I don't think I could buy this with the shorts and just wear them out together. But on court, man, don't they look fly. What's really sad about the jersey is that I could not find this in an authentic version. This would look so dope in the authentic. I just got to settle with the swing, man. But overall, I'm going to give it four cherry blossoms out of five.